Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Enjoying this wonderful pizza from Slice on Broadway, the people in Pittsburgh that provide good pizza to podcasters. Is it strange to have made something that hates you? What were you doing with Ava? Hello, Internet. Today is April 28th, 2015, and this is the Rambling Movie Minute, where we talk movies, TV, things we watch in front of screens, in front of our faces. Right here, in front of our faces. I am your host, Malango, at Rambling Mango, and as usually, we have Sorga Sorgatron Media. As usually, I'm here in the studio, hitting the knobs and the buttons here, starting off our podcast party. I like to call it a podcast party these days for our podcast day, Malango, and uh, kicking it off, talking movies with you. Podcast party, I like that. I mean, you, you do have you do have refreshments and stuff there, so that all Kind of, great. yes. Well, we like to make this party an East Coast event. Well, a whole worldwide event but primarily in the east coast bad mike how's it going oh i'm doing fantabulous on this podcast party tuesday you know why because it's avengers week baby you're hitting it Boom. so you're hitting it so hard your video froze <laughs> yes. that's how excited i am so the internet cannot contain my excitement he even has a new hairstyle for it mm-hmm. right. i love it ladies <laughs> of course, that voice that you are also hearing is the fabulous Don't Mess With Me, Don't Mace With Me, there you go. Ashley. There you go. How's it going, Ashley? Good. Back from the frozen tundra of Michigan to the frozen tundra of Pittsburgh, so <laughs> we're good. <laughs> Actually, today it's beautiful, so I'm happy. Yes. I am today happy. Today it's very nice. Yeah. Well, good. Um, uh, it's glad to have you back in the studio. I'm glad to be here, as always. So- <laughs> you actually see the the trailer of the week. The reason why I made it the trailer of the week is because this freaking movie apparently blew up. And by blew up, I mean anybody who actually saw it said, "How haven't you seen this movie? It's amazing." <laughs> yeah, it kind of came out left field. Like it looked interesting when I saw. It. Is it ex, ex machina? <laughs> Am I saying sure, this right, Mike? Also okay, sure. sure. Machina. 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 Um, there was a the Deus Ex game that Machina. I also screwed up back in the day. Uh, but no, <laughs> this is like the next, this is like a, a her, the horror movie. Uh, it, it feels like it was going to end up. And uh, it, it was really intriguing, but I didn't expect it really to catch fire like apparently it has over the last, what, a week, Malango? Yeah. I mean, this is like the sleeper movie of the of the week did they anybody get it. this in the movie draft i uh, <laughs> i think this movie went for like three dollars in the movie draft nice um yeah i heard a lot of people comparing it to uh black mirror um and then i forgot the other comparison but yeah i, I had a lot of recommendations to see this movie so I don't know when I'm going to freaking see this movie. Mm-hmm. And they all said I should go see it for matinee price. Oh, no. Really? Because yeah. I, right, I was thinking about seeing it, too, because it looked super intriguing. I remember seeing the preview for this when I saw, um, uh, I think, The Wedding Ringer. Mm-hmm. And it just looked really, really interesting. Like, I kind of wanted to see it. But I'm like, I don't know if I want to spend full price on it. Yeah. Because it looks like it could be amazing or oh god (laughs) it could have been amazing well it's getting great reviews right i I think so yeah 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 they said sleeper hit of the summer so now i'm intrigued it's just a shame it came out the week right before avengers because it's not going to be jack next week right exactly so um and malengo you're back with us you have any more thoughts on uh, this movie I don't, but uh, keep the show going. Okay, we got some stuff going on. <laughs> In the box office this week, according to Box Office, Mo- Mo- office Mojo, Furious 7 still on top for what is, how many weeks is this? Four weeks running. Oh, and Furious 8's coming out too. Fu- and Furious, of course uh, it is. Of course it's 2016, yeah, and, 2017, and, was it? And Vin yep. Diesel said this one's going to win Best Picture. So, I mean. 
it's all happening. It's all, all, all of this stuff. All of this stuff. Absolutely. Uh, followed up by Paul Blurt, Mall Cop 2. It's second week out with uh, 14 million. 17 million for Furious 7, by the way. Wow. Uh, this is this was spread kind of out a little bit. E- Machina. Is that closer? Machina. Do you like that yes. one? Okay. Uh, <laughs> it actually rounded out at a number six with only five million, but still, for for a movie on this level, I think that's that's very good for what they were doing. Um, I think that's gonna be one of those ones that has more power on like DVD and digital. We're all gonna be watching it on digital and Netflix right. and just going nuts for this in about three months. It'll become a, mm-hmm. a, a what do they call it? One of those cult classic. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Certainly, Age of Adeline is uh, number three with uh, 13 million. Home at 8 million, still hanging in there. Unfriended at 6 million, uh, number five. So I even heard the reviews for that weren't horrible. The Unfriended one? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's like, you have to be in the mindset for it. Like, I want to see what it, it, what would happen if an entire movie was on Skype, you know? And I think, again, that's one I think we're going to be talking about in like three to six months when it pops up on digital. So... Awesome. So, uh, moving on, uh, like, hey, let's go to you... Uh, uh, th- this is for this is for me and Mike, I think. Uh, Dragon Ball. <laughs> um, dragon, <laughs> we're dragon, fight the dragon, Dragon Ball Z. Oh my gosh, somebody's excited. Yes, uh, <laughs> a little bit. I mean, I mean, I, I, you know, Mike. I mean, Mike. Look at him. He's he's wearing a he's wearing a. a he's so happy right now. Blue lantern he's flash shirt. Glowing. He's part of the reason why we've become kind of the geek cast on here. Uh, I went to the <laughs> I went to an art school, so I was just 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 pounded with Dragon Ball Z like in the <laughs> lobby every day. I could not help but get into it. Uh, but mm-hmm. Dragon Ball uh, scores the first new TV anime in 18 years. Now, here's the other thing is I think most of the stuff that we had seen when we were into Dragon Ball Z and it was on Toonami and all that stuff on Cartoon Network, it had mm-hmm. been several years old. Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Like, the, it was an older cartoon. The, mm-hmm. uh, the only thing new about it was the English dub. Right, right. The last was uh, Dragon Ball GT, which aired from 1996 to 1997. And we never got into this until probably 98, 99 or so, with uh, mm-hmm. even the earlier ones before that. And I don't think we even got GT until like 2005 or something like that. So Yeah, I remember, I remember, I have sadly all the series of Dragon Ball, <laughs> Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT. But it took a while for it to actually come out on TV. Like, I don't mm-hmm. even know if they finished the run of GT on Cartoon Network. I don't, I don't think they did either, but it was it wasn't as wide sweeping. And then they started remastering everything and having shorter versions for that. Uh, was that Dragon Ball Kai they were yeah. running on? Uh, from what, I, from what I've heard, morning. that's really good though. It is. Like, it is. It, it's it picks a lot of stuff. In it, it picks up the pace. There's a lot of staring, pausing, and grunting <laughs> to stretch out that series. Like the Majin Buu, Majin Buu part of it was just or abnormally God long. Anytime there was a spirit bomb. Yeah, Spirit Bomb. A Spirit Bomb is like half an episode just to charge that thing out. But, uh, you know, classic, like, you know, those tropes about anime, they kind of start here. (laughs) So, sort, sort. Do you you want to do a quick Dragon Ball scene? Oh, yeah. This will be really bad for audio, though. Well, no, no, I mean, uh, no, I mean, I'll do dialogue. Yeah, only if you guys make it somehow last for about four episodes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we could do that. All right, let, let, let's hold on that. That'll be a, that'll be a side experiment for the, right, mo- yeah. the movie minute because it'll be way more than a minute. Um, anyways, <laughs> w- what other stories uh, got you going here, Malengo? So um, there's an interesting story that Ryan Tomato released a, a survey. I love, I like their, um, their, like, their list surveys. They're always interesting. But they, this was a list of the... Uh, bloodiest TV shows of the last ten years, which just kind of made me laugh because it was <laughs> TV shows, and oh, a, a lot of these were prime time. But like you got stuff like Dexter, uh, Hamlock Grove. I don't want to show any more of these. <laughs> these no, you, you have to show them now. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> the Walking Dead. So, uh, um, okay, like, okay. of these, I had one question. Yes, TV has become bloody, but. Besides, like um, Hannibal, none of this was net or all of this was like uh, cable. None mm-hmm. of this was prime time. Right. Um, well, Supernatural they got on here. Um, they also have Bones. Was Bones yeah. really the what? Do you, yeah, is yeah, Game, yeah. Is Game of Thrones on there? Uh, maybe Game maybe. of Thrones is on there. Yeah, it yeah. is. Oh, okay. Yeah, they put Game it of Thrones. They put True Blood on there. 
Sleepy Hollow's on here. Apparently, that's bloody. Uh, it can be. Yeah, I mean, it is. A, there is a severed head that's kind of a plot point of half the series. So, <laughs> well, I would imagine you know, given that it's kind of about a headless horse. Yeah. Did you think there you were going to see the head though for so much of it? I didn't going into it, but you. Really, I love the tell. Really I, I just love that tell of the headless mm-hmm. horseman. Mm-hmm. Did anybody the- actually watch uh, the strain? I no. saw a few episodes, but I couldn't really get into it. I, I don't know. Is it still? Is it on again? I don't even know. I don't think it's still on. Okay, because I know they did one season, and I don't know if I, I'm not even sure when that wrapped up, or when they're doing it again, or if they're doing it again. You know what's odd about this list? Some of these movies, or I mean, some of these TV shows. I could stomach like Dexter for some crazy reason. I was able to watch like a lot of Dexter, but something like The Walking Dead, I couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> Just got too much oh, for God. you. Wait, I mean, you mean? I'm surprised I'm they've been able to keep that storyline up for so long. No, I didn't they, actually they, watch. They've done a good Blood. job with that. Oh God, True Blood. Uh, I'm surprised True Blood wasn't number one on the list because holy crap, was that show bloody! Like, there were a couple episodes where dudes were literally just walking around caked in blood. That's awesome. Yeah, even Boardwalk Empire. Uh, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> I love that's what That's a good. No, no, that's my kind of show, actually. Yeah. 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 Walking around caked in blood? I'm in. And they're, and they're naked, too, Ashley. So Ooh, I'm, even better. It sounds like a Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> Fun Saturday night. <laughs> You oh, guys God, miss let's me. move away from the bloody talk show. <laughs> the yes. Bloody TV shows. Um, <laughs> All right. So if Vanilla Ice, if you're... Um, oh, God, where's oh this no. going? Where's this oh going? No. Where's this going? Cool as Ice 2, 2016, <laughs> with Michael Bay producing. So um, Adam Sandler... Uh, where, where really, where's this going now with Adam Sandler and Vanilla yeah. Ice? So Adam Sandler, with Pixels coming out, I he has to redeem himself when it comes to bad movies. Oh no! <laughs> I really want to see know. Pixels. Like I don't. I, yeah, I mean, like I'm kind of interested to see Pixels, but I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing when Vanilla Ice has to defend a movie that you want to make. Hence, Sailor's Ridiculous Six. Oop. It's not a dance with wolves. <laughs> what? What? Um, apparently, there's a lot of really awful stereotypical American Indian jokes. And a lot of American Indians who were on the set walked off. So oh no! I was just defending him. And that doesn't help. Like that's the thing. I don't think that helps his case. <laughs> no, I mean, I think Vanilla Ice needs to do three very important things before he continues defending this. He needs to stop. <laughs> he needs to collaborate. <laughs> <laughs> and. He needs to listen. Yeah, yeah, I agree. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a long way for that joke, but I had to go for it. Yeah, I don't know. I hope I hope Pixels is good, or else I am just going to write off all about Adam Sandler stuff. Especially I would I would write off Ridiculous Six. It looks awful. It, 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 a, a I don't Netflix think I've seen the trailer project. for that. Like one I yet. understand the what's the contract that Adam Sandler's in with where he's. Like what? What studios he partnered with? Uh, Netflix. Yeah, he's partnered no, with previously. Netflix. Oh, I don't know. Oh, uh, well, he had his own studio, Happy Madison. That was. Yeah, I was just gonna uh, say Happy Madison. Didn't they have a deal with like Warner Brothers or something? Probably. Released like probably movies. Probably, but I mean, even the like the Grown Ups movies made money, so it's only like stuff like Jack and Jill and uh, the one where he was. Blended, uh, blended. Oh god! Oh, that was terrible. And I and I like him and Drew Barrymore together. I do. I loved mm-hmm. the Wedding Singer. I loved Fifty First Dates, but Blended was terrible. Fifty First Dates bothers me on an unconscious I, level. I I, I enjoyed it. Actually, I thought it was sweet. just like when those two have nothing better to do with their time, and they decide to get together and pick a, a name out of the hat. And that's the movie of their next release. Mm-hmm. You didn't like the Wedding Singer. I, <laughs> I mean that's, that's that's so old. I don't that care. It's good. That was like the premise. That was like the the first good one that they picked out of the hat. Yeah, that one was good. Drew Barrymore He's... and them just decided to keep doing stuff like blended. <sighs> I don't understand Netflix in this deal, by the way. Like, yeah, what, what do they have to lose though? Yeah, yeah but are we going to start to get worried? Like they 
they are the ones out there comparing themselves to HBO Go, right? Right. I don't think HBO Go would ever pick up a deal like this. No, they that's don't. Because it, that's because HBO shows real movies. And they also, uh, yeah, they, they already have, like, um, they already have the first run movies, more so than Netflix. So Netflix is going to give you the first run of first run by just providing th- stuff. And, and there's also, uh, you know, some of these Netflix deals that they're doing, or maybe I'm thinking the Amazon. What, no, I'm thinking the Amazon, that they're actually going to do limited theatrical as well. I, there, there's a market for this. If, Nef- if, if, if any of these movies get enough interest, these guys are doing analytics to death on these things. And they have it figured out. Yeah, I know. I I, had, I did hear that that argument where as long as Netflix knows that the people that really love Adam Sandler will come and watch this movie, that's all they really. He still do. has a big following. He does. He absolutely mm-hmm. does. Mm-hmm. And, and and I mean, he has loyal fans. It, it's on Netflix too. So like, if you're just scrolling and you see it, you might click on it just because what harm is it really going to do you? You don't have to go out. Mm-hmm. You don't have to pay for a movie ticket. You're already paying for Netflix. So. Is this is this any different than Joe Dirt 2 coming directly to Crackle? Actually, I think it's it's maybe a little sadder that Joe Dirt 2 came directly to Crackle. But they're trying to do the same thing. I think it's a little sadder that there's a Joe Dirt 2. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's 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 something to get you in there. Just like I haven't looked at it yet, but uh, the Dead Rising movie based on the video game is on there as well. Like they're trying to get you to that service. They're trying to say, oh wait, Joe Dirt 2, but it's on Crackle. You know, it'll probably end up other places eventually. Um, but they're just. You know, Netflix is doing the same thing. Like, they, there's so much buzz right now for Daredevil, which we'll talk about, Mike, at some point, um, <laughs> because I finished it this weekend. <laughs> but uh, but people are more people are like, I need to check out Netflix if they haven't yet. So, mm-hmm. I mean, that, that, that's what they're doing. They're trying to create this buzz and are trying to satisfy the people that are paying eight bucks a month. And you know, why not? What 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 does it hurt for you to check out an Adam Sandler movie that you're al- already paying eight dollars for? You, mm-hmm. Malengo, you are subsidizing Adam Sandler with your Netflix subscription. You can't get away from it. It's like the ESPN of Netflix. He's going to cancel Netflix. <laughs> he controls the world. <laughs> My stomach turns. <laughs> what else is going that's on, Lingo? That's the name of his second ad. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Sorg, you had mentioned Daredevil. Ashley, have you watched any of Daredevil yet? I have that's not. That I've, no, about? I haven't. I haven't taken the plunge yet. Oh, you need to. I will. Especially your 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 affinity for gore. I do like gore. I, there's some oh, stuff in there. It's not I have like a sick, twisted mind. It's not like outright gory, <laughs> but it's like it's cringeworthy. I want to see people get bludgeoned to death. A little um, bit. You will be satisfied. Four. Out of yeah. Episode four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yes, yes. Even <laughs> better. And, and I think you will also get a kick out of the narration track Ooh. they have over everything. <laughs> okay. I need to watch it with that because after you told me about it last night on the Hangout, I, I kind of want to just watch right. it again. Right but, but but the story of Malengo is bringing up season two is happening. You knew yep. it. You knew this so was excited. happening. You knew, you knew that was going to be a thing. Come on. But... What we didn't know is they're saying season two next year. Yeah. And that is really interesting. Mm-hmm. Like, I I didn't think it'd be happening that soon because I think that's before even the rest of their other series comes out. Right. Right. Yeah, I think before, it is. Uh, and I don't think they're even uh, calling for any of their other series coming out this year. So, like, no, uh, Jessica Jones is coming out this year. Is it is it still? Because I thought it got yeah. pushed back. Because I know I know they were talking about one series a year, perhaps, perhaps until they get to the Defender series. Oh no, I don't think they're, because they're going to have. I would assume the Defenders in Infinity War, and that starts filming. That's true next too. Year. That's true. So, so we're going to yeah. get a lot of Marvel action. So this was a lot of fun for me because it's it's not something that I've read a lot of. And um, so there's a lot of kind of new to it and be able to go back and, and just like S.H.I.E.L.D. D- trying to figure out, okay, who's somebody who's actually a character from the comic and who do they create, you know, yeah. um, as, as they start revealing things and what they do with it. And I love, I, I finished it. I love the entire thing. Just, I, I, I even like the slow parts that everybody's kind of complaining about. They're like, oh, it gets slow and it picks up again. It's like, great. I love the backstory <laughs> that they did in about the middle of the series. Um, they oh, yeah. Honestly, I heard that was everyone's weakest episode. That was one of my favorite episodes. Which which episode? Uh, episode ten, N- Nelson versus Murdoch. Yes, that was so good. I loved that episode. Like, and I thought the title was kind of a shot at DC. I'm just saying, I thought it kind of was okay. Nelson v Murdoch. Like, yes, I know it's, I know it's legal issues, but <laughs> well, so, so you did finish the series, right? Yes. 
do you agree with with Mad Mike about our villain, the Kingpin's character, and that he was actually good? Yeah, I thought he was great. I, I thought there was it was a very complex character um, that they really delved into. It's not just like he's just yeah he was just a crime boss to be a crime boss. Like we found out kind of how he developed and 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 um, uh, one comment from from uh, my wife was uh, well he's basically that OCD character from um, uh, Criminal Intent. But that was my problem with it. Dad. With a with a criminal <laughs> with a criminal mastermind spin on it. Right in a rage spin on it, um, but still he's a great actor, and I thought he brought a. I was a little iffy on it and presenting that character, but I got to remember, don't compare him to Michael Clark Duncan, <laughs> for one thing. But more, the more and more I saw him, the more I'm, I'm like, no, that's Kingpin, and now that's my Kingpin. You know what I mean? Just like uh, honestly, I think they they're both really good interpretations of Kingpin. Oh, I, I agree completely. Agree, and, yeah. and and you know the movie was a different you know aspect of course but um no i thought i was i was fine i don't know what it was when when i first saw him when they introduced him and so four three when they introduced him yeah, like at the I, end of three i think i like his story arc like i like the backstory i liked i liked his thinking like a, the wall the the, the uh, art gallery scene mm -hmm. i loved all of that and then the last two episodes, it kind of got comical to me. Versus like, <laughs> well, it had to. <laughs> well, yeah. it is a comic show. Yes. Like at the end of the day, and I don't even think it got that bad. It got it. It started building up to the finale, like so things are going to be a little bit quicker paced, right? right. Like, especially since it's like his plan started completely crumbling apart. Mm-hmm around like episode nine and you only have 13 episodes so it's got to crumble pretty quickly yeah i mean i'll be interested to see i don't i mean i'm sure we're gonna see him taking over and continue to run his organization from prison and i'm sure something will fall through which will allow him to get out quite easily but it'll be interesting to see how they carry this on with him and other villains and how that works Oh, well, I have a feeling we're going to see, like, Bullseye and Electra. I have a feeling that's probably... Either that or they're just going to have it intertwine with the Iron Fist stuff and go with the hand. Or, who knows? There's a whole bunch of stuff they could do. From, from the chat room, Alex Garza is saying, you can join us here at 6 p.m. live at SorgatronMedia.com, Eastern Time. Uh, Alex is saying uh, he's the kingpin we need and possibly the one we deserve. So, there you go. All right. <laughs> Yeah. check it out <laughs> uh, and let us, let us know what you think about it uh, uh, hit us up on the social medias the website uh, the Rambling Movie Minute group especially um, I, I, it's it's uh, a lot of people have an opinion and and uh, dancing Ashley over there I can't wait to hear it. <laughs> I didn't catch you on the camera but uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right um, the Sorg I'm feeling a little hungry where's a good place to get pizza oh i got something for you right here our friends at slice on broadway slice on broadway.com pj it's underscore slice on the twitter check them out on facebook and oh wow that's fresh <laughs> oh that has yeah we have we, this came like right when we were starting the show so we haven't even had any yet but uh thank you to slice on broadway uh they have been supporting us for about a year now at sorgatron media uh, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the right pizza, and uh, and 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 it's it's great stuff. These guys, these guys, we had a birthday party a couple of weeks ago, and they 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 took on the challenge to make a Hello Kitty pizza. These guys are artists with pastry. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, so uh, you check them out. They're, they're they're right here in the South Hills in Pittsburgh, uh, in Beachview along the tracks, as well as Carnegie PA down on Main Street. Uh, and you can go check it out. Uh, salads, uh, their salads are amazing. If you're not all about the pizza, if you're on a diet, uh, Missy had like a grilled chicken salad and it was, it was giant and crazy and awesome. Uh, they source all their, their goodies, all their, uh, ingredients, uh, as fresh as they can get it. And, uh, it's real good. So stuff. So go check them out on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, let them know that you heard about them on the, uh, rambling movie minute and, uh, Sorgatron media. So thanks to them for supporting the show. Can they make me a Ninja Turtle pizza sword? You know what? I bet they would give a Ninja Turtle. I'm sorry, that face felt like I was making it just threw me. I did not look at the I did not look at the preview before I tossed over to that. Was that on purpose? Or were we yeah, like I was, I was trying to make practicing something? Were you practicing being the Joker? 
<laughs> That's exactly. Oh, we didn't oh, even talk about that. Oh, I don't that. know because we only, we do not have time to talk about that. <laughs> oh, man. Jesus Too bad. Jesus Christ. I missed what you said. What did you say? What? What? I missed, I missed what Ashley said. Malenko is the new Joker. That's what she said. Oh. Uh, I, sh- I could. No, I could. Are you getting a back feed, by the way? Sorry. Random technical question. Maybe a little bit. A maybe a little bit. Just roll with it. All right. Because I did realize that I didn't have my headphones on. Um, anyway. All right. Ashley, oh. what did you watch this weekend on your adventure to Detroit? Did, what did you I, watch anything? You're breaking up a little bit. I think. What did I watch? <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> okay. Oh, I watched one of the craziest horror movies I've ever seen, The Babadook. The Babadook. The Babadook. It's on Netflix. It's insane. I think it's a it's a British film. I think, but it's it, this woman finds a children's book, a freaky children's book, in her son's room. And her son, first of all, is a nut. I mean, you you think he's possessed by some sort of demon just from the get go, but no, they find this book, and then um, all of a sudden these weird things start to happen, and this creature basically comes and possesses the mother, and things just start to slowly deteriorate from then on out. So. Um, her, her son sort of noticed it early on, but then she thought he was crazy. And then it turns out to be this, this big, huge mess for them. So it's, it's insane. I I really like it. If you like creature flicks, if you like stories about possession, um, I I thought it was uh, a unique take on it. And the character itself, the Babadook is the title character, I should say, is, uh, is terrifying. (laughs) I just looked up the the uh, poster for it. That is disturbing. That is disturbing. Oh my gosh! Oh wow! Adding adding to Netflix instant queue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're all going to check that one out over yes, the next uh, few days. Here. Ashley's recommendations scare me. Like I don't think <laughs> have to watch the movie. <laughs> Whatever she recommends, I'm kind of like, oh my gosh, that has a 97 on Rotten Tomato. Nice. Oh man. <laughs> what about you, man, Mike? Oh, I watched. Um, I saw Moneyball. Finally, I had never seen it before. Um, I liked it oh, a lot. Moneyball. Yeah, I yeah. had never seen it. It's not in my top five of baseball movies, mm-hmm. but I I put it in my top ten. I really enjoyed it a lot. Brad Pitt and uh, Jonah Hill were great in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was kind of funny to see uh, the Oakland A's perspective living in New York. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was really kind of interesting just to. Like, it was very well done. Uh, I liked it a lot. And I also saw Her, which I had never seen before. Yeah. Uh, That's a good It's kind one. of funny that we talked about Ex Machina because Her <laughs> her was a weird movie. Yeah, yeah. it is. Um, I mean, I can, see where someone, I can see where someone would get seduced by Scarlett Johansson's voice the whole time. Well, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I get that. Um, the sex scene was... Very odd. Um, just ev- everything about the movie was just kind of unsettling. Yeah. Probably didn't help I watch it three thirty in the morning, but uh, it was it was just I don't know. I mean, it was very well done, but it's a weird concept. Just a weird, weird concept. Yeah. I also uh, saw a couple episodes of The Comedians on FX. Is that is that good? It's okay. It's okay. I'll probably give it another couple episodes. The episode where they get stoned and go to the grocery store <laughs> is hilarious. Uh, cool. That was the third episode. The first two were, eh. I hope it picks up steam a little bit. But I also saw a couple episodes of Lip Sync Battle. and That's a spinoff from uh, The Late Night Show, right? Yeah. And Jesus Christ, if you, if you just need a half hour to kill brain cells and just have fun watching a show... Watch that. It's just super fun. Who's the ho- who's the host? I know some people were ragging on the host. Oh, the host served no purpose. Hello, Cool J and Chrissy yeah. Teigen serve absolutely no purpose on the show, but it doesn't matter because The Rock was on it. He was hilarious. Jimmy Fallon was on it. He was hilarious. Um, Anne Hathaway was great on it. Um, Anna Kendrick, who I love, was fantastic. John Krasinski, I give him credit. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what performance he did. But um, crowd, Mary, keep on turning. You know, yeah, I'm gonna have to check that out because I definitely love that bit, especially like the Emma Stone one, Paul Rudd. Like they did some, and of course Will Ferrell did some like awesome skits. Or when they did that bit on the show, it was like hilarious. Mm-hmm. So I'm curious to see how they actually spun that off. 
yeah, it, it's it's just a it's a it's a really fun show. It's only a half hour long. Um, it's it's definitely worth your time. Definitely worth your time. Nice. Nice. Uh, so I went and finally saw Will Smith's Focus movie. Hmm. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's not what I expected. In a good way or a bad way? Say. What's uh, that? And it said in a good way or a bad way. Sounds bad. I mean, so was movie, it uh, was it unfocused? <laughs> there's a no. There was a there was a movie I can't remember the name, but it dealt with like art art theory and stuff. And I love this movie. Monuments Men? No, not it. But art, anyway, art I'll try to remember it and I'll tweet it out. That's what I thought I was going to see, like a somewhat similar sim sim. Ah, I can't talk. <laughs> Something similar to that. Uh, this. <clears throat> I don't really know what they were, what they were going for. Like the thing is, like I, I don't know that I would, I would recommend seeing it for like a dollar if it's in Redbox. Um, but yeah, it was weird. It's not Will Smith's greatest. And I did know, I what I do remember when it came out, they were saying that it made enough money to at least give him some legitimacy again, and saying that he can bring in a large number. Good. But it by no means was like a top notch movie. Uh, for when it released. I also saw Seventh Son, and sadly, I could say, if somebody told me Jeff Bridges would be in the movie with Julian Moore and Jon Snow, hmm. um, I would say that has to be a freaking good movie. Do not go see Seventh Son. <laughs> Turns out you know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, how do you get great actors together, and then somehow you get you get that because I think the story will get really lost. It, I think the story will get then lost in the characters because they're so popular, they're so talented that the story just gets lost because they're focusing too much on the individual actor or actress. That's what I think. Yeah. So that's why. That, yeah. <clears throat> so they try to see this movie, people. If you have seen it, I share your pain. <laughs> um, Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> yeah, TV stuff. I got caught up with. Uh, with all the stuff that we were watching, uh, Game of Thrones. Yes. I'm loving what I'm seeing. Um, it's, it's a if great Game of Thrones so just far. an hour of Cersei and Marjorie snarking at each other, <laughs> it would be the best episode of the season. There I is. end Game of Thrones feeling pissed because that hour goes by so freaking fast, and then you have to wait a week. <laughs> Try waiting ten months when it's over. Yeah, that's the worst. And I had a crappy ever. week too because I watch hockey, so. That's oh, that oh. oh. did you watch any Eye Zombie? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm taking that to yes. That's a hell yeah! Freaking yes. awesome show. I got right. With all, He's so excited. I, I think I'm not caught up. I don't know. I don't know when does the show actually come on. <laughs> like Tuesday? uh, Tuesdays. Tuesdays. It's on tonight. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I think I'm I'm up to six or seven episodes. Okay, you the seventh episode. Yeah, they out. haven't had they haven't had that many, so. So I think this I, is the seventh. Like, that's a show you should you should get into. Freaking awesome! Yeah. If you like crime dramas, it's a good spin. If you like zombies, clever spin. I talked somebody into it yesterday that has no interest in anything zombie. I was like, yeah, but it's this, and it's kind of like she helps fight crime by eating brains. And she's like, oh, I'm it's sold the, on that. It's the complete <laughs> opposite. I know. Of Walking Dead. It's like Psych, but with zombies. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was, it was fun. Uh, okay, real quick, uh, Sorg, what did you watch? Um, uh, biggest thing I watched, other than the, the general things like you guys mentioned, all the geeky things, Arrow, this stuff like that. Um, I caught into uh, Attack on Titan, the anime. Um, I, I, I got a bunch of stuff for it from Loot Crate, so it's kind of been on my radar. And I watched the first like three or four uh, episodes. Holy crap, it's brutal. <laughs> 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 it's about this town, and they built giant walls because there's these like 50 feet foot titans that will oh. are like skinless giants but then there's like series. small ones that are just naked people that smile at you but they eat you and they and, and they keep smiling it's crazy yeah. and i was so pissed because it was subtitled and this is anime it's no. anime yes it's on there's netflix a lot of talk about naked people and eating people yeah yeah more they, naked people it, <laughs> this is not 
probably not nearly as fun as the True Blood one. But um, yeah, it was just it was just random watch like uh, a Saturday, Friday night, something like that. And uh, and man, that is the worst thing to watch before you go to bed. Is, is it on Netflix? Or? It's on Netflix. First season is on Netflix. I don't know if that's all they have or uh, as a series or not. Um, I think I saw it on Hulu. I think Hulu might have more of it. They might have some of it too. Um, I and I and they I peeked through the book that I got in Loot Crate because I got the first volume of it, and it looks like it's uh, one of those pretty much frame by frames um, as as oh. you know uh, translations. Uh, I should so. just finish the book then. I couldn't finish the series because of the subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll read the book. I know. Yeah, I'll read the book, right? <laughs> That's just odd. I like sometimes. Sometimes I just forget and start doing something else on my phone, and I'm like, "No, I have to read this." Yeah, but then you, you I'm like, really I, have to be. But engaged. I still kind of like, like, like I still kind of accepted what they said. <laughs> you just know what's going on. You're like, oh, the they're words, arguing about something. I, he's calling him a puss for not yeah. going out and uh, fighting the Titans because the little kid wants to do stuff, and 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 I like I. Uh, I get the gist. Of you can Japanese. use the body language. That, exactly. That's what That's happened what the, to me the first half hour of Inglorious Bastards. You know, if I just it's doze the off, greatest beginning ever. I if I just Bastards. doze really is, off, like I didn't appreciate it the first time because I was just like, so oh, what the fuck is this? So I just want to see Brad Pitt scalping people. Like, <laughs> <laughs> amazing. You know, maybe uh, if I fall asleep to, to to one of these animes, I'll wake up laughing at all the jokes. Like that one time I fell asleep to Univision. <laughs> Anyways, Malenga, that's all I got for this week. <laughs> all right. Do not fall uh, asleep during Babadook because you will you freak out. Oh, hold on, we gotta say what's coming out this week. Oh yes, we do. That's do we I really? Wonder what's coming out this week, guys. Wow. <laughs> do, we, do we really need to say what's coming out this week? I'm seeing it three times. No, oh, jeez. As it's looking now, I'll be seeing it as well three times. You guys are nuts. 2D, yeah. IMAX, 3D, and I don't know. Ashley, when are you coming back to see that? A weekend after? Yeah, if somebody goes and sees, sees it with me. Are you going to go? I, I, will, I will take that bullet. Are you going to come? <laughs> I, I, are you I, coming I to PA? I'm going to make a bus down to watch it a fourth time. Mm -hmm. You should do that. I'm not, not going to go see it on Tuesday, those guys, because they're doing it on Tuesday. What? Nothing. Sorry. <laughs> still still um, <laughs> yes. So, Avengers is coming out this weekend. And little, uh, little indie flick. You might have heard of it. You might have seen some of the actors on TV shows, various media. They're talking a little bit about, you know, this indie guy, Joss Whedon, doing it. Not, it might make some money. I might know. make a couple bucks. <laughs> it might make, you know, $200 million worldwide already. I know uh, in comparison <laughs> for shot. our movie shot. draft, the, the estimated uh, gross revenue for this movie was just shy of nine hundred million dollars. Don't fall asleep. Jeez. <laughs> Come on. We're almost, we're almost no, through. We're almost through. Because the, the people that bought this movie spent eighty dollars. We thought it would go for a hundred bucks. I, I need subtitles now. Um, and the fact that it could make that much money <laughs> is crazy. But I'm excited. Okay, they're gonna get my money at least three times. Oh, good grief. There's there are people that actually want to see the bootleg for this, by the way. I don't understand these people. About your anyway, <laughs> good for them. <laughs> Ashley, where can we find you? Ashley, where can we find you? Uh, um, you can find me on Twitter at Don't Mace With Me. So please um, look me up, follow me, and enjoy. <laughs> you won't mace us if we mace with you, right? What? <laughs> Sorry, that was, that was I'll shit. take your word for it. <laughs> that, was, that was really bad i'm sorry bad mike yes where can i find you if i want to follow you because um well i recommend looking out my window Malinga. oh okay also you can find me on twitter at mad mike 4883 i'm also on the wrestling mayhem show later tonight on sorgatronmedia.com and i'll also be on boss battle tonight as a uh, podcast of insert coin to begin so yeah i'm all over the place Nice. And Sorg? Uh, I'm everywhere, Malengo. I'm, I'm everywhere. Omnipresent. Sorg is like the end of Lucy. Um, I got a lot of stuff going on. We got the new <laughs> awesome chat starting this week. First interview with you, Jagoff, John Chamberlain, uh, joining us. That's coming up Thursday at SorgatronMedia.com, AwesomeCast.net, and all the other shows daily pretty much throughout the week. Uh, SorgatronMedia.com. Just follow it and, 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 and pick, out the, pick out the things you like. 
Because I cannot imagine anybody's listening to 10 hours of me a week. <laughs> so Nice. <laughs> and uh, you guys out there, you viewers, all you people watching us, definitely go check out our Facebook group, uh, Rambling Movie Minute. Also, check out our YouTube page and uh, subscribe. We need more subscribers on there. This is how we... We need more love, people. We need more love mm -hmm. in our lives. Mm -hmm. If we yeah. get more subscribers, so I'll wear the wig again. There you go. Oh, there you go. What do you say? What? He'll wear the wig again if they get more subscribers. There you go. Something about cross No, uh, you'll do that dragons. anyway yeah. because no. I want you to. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter <laughs> at Rambling Mango. And uh, that's it for this week's Rambling Movie Minute. Thanks for hanging out with us. And until next week, have a Rambling Movie Weekend. Ba bum bum. <laughs> what the hell? This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Let's talk tech. Tech news discussions from the people in the industry right here in Pittsburgh. Online, gadgets, startups, and more. Check it out at awesomecast.net.